November 8th, 2016, from Georgie Productions in Pacifica. This is The Daily Report with Rudy Evenhouse. Welcome to The Daily Report, pre-apocalypse edition. Welcome to The Daily Report. Welcome to The Daily Report, I'm your host, Rudy Evenhouse. Welcome to The Daily Report, I'm your host, Rudy Evenhouse. Hi everyone, I'm Rudy Evenhouse. Welcome to The Daily Report. Hi! Welcome again to the Daily Report Thanksgiving Special! Welcome to Episode 3 of the Livestream Documentary Series. In this documentary, which is, a, which is a participatory documentary mode, I'm going to be playing the pieces I'm going to be playing in the live stream, and my parents, Dan and Georgia, are going to be commenting on them. So let's get started. All right, so um, the first uh, musical number I'm going to be playing is uh, the Yoda theme. Very nice, Rudy. Very good. Are we supposed to critique it now? Yeah. Say some intellectual stuff, so it looks good on the camera. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. So uh, you had a good pace of the playing. You, you, you know, it wasn't too fast, which I think on a song like that is important. Um, and you seem to have some feel for the piece, like you, like you knew, like, how – the dynamics and how the emotional quality of it should go. Um, and it seemed like you had actually looked at it before. So um, I don't know. Do you want me to pick it apart and say things I noticed that weren't like perfect or something? Or Go ahead. Do whatever you want. Okay. All right. What about you, Jordan? <laughs> um, I noticed that um, <clears throat> there were moments um, where you had a parts of the music where you um, were a little bit uncertain or unsure of what the notes would be. But what I did notice is that you actually put that together and you kept on going, which is good for a musician. That's a very good thing to do is to keep on going, even when you sort of fumble a little bit. Mm -hmm. Anything else? That's really about it. Mom said it better than I could, I think. All right. 
So the next one I'm going to be playing, this is in the order they will appear, segmented between all the other comedy stuff and interviews. Uh, the second one um, is going to be uh, the Somewhere Over the Rainbow from The Wizard of Oz, which I was inspired to uh, play after watching uh, The Wizard of Oz in Mr. Corpse Film Analysis class. So let's, and I actually took the song and I uh, arranged it myself, so it's not from sheet music. Well, yeah. Um, let's see. Where did I play it? Okay. Oops. It's mostly complete. Very close to me. Okay. So my question for you, Rudy, is have you ever played a really, really good piano? Um, I can't say I've played on good pianos. Have I played on a really, really good piano? I don't know. Okay. Just because I, I, think your, I think your playing is good. I think part of the limitations of it are the instrument that you're using. Because, you know, this is like a beater piano which we specifically wanted to get because you were young when we got a piano and I didn't want to get something, and, you know, that was very expensive and then be worried like if everybody was going to scratch it and stuff. But um, the, the action, you know, I was noticing the action of the keys was not perfect and it wasn't because of your playing. It was because the actual mechanics of the piano doesn't, you know, when you start to get like into like, more delicate passages it it won't the piano won't really do what it what it should do because it's you know because it's older the parts get kind of worn and they don't have that sort of crisp kind of sound or feel mm -hmm. yeah what did you think Georgia um, I think that uh, you're doing a nice job on creating the piece because I know that you're writing it all from um, scratch, basically. You're just using the, the arrangement. I'm arranging it. Yeah, you're making yeah. the arrangement and um, taking the pieces, using the melody, and actually creating a whole piece out of it. And adding like a lot of extra little like <clears throat> arpeggios. Flourish. and Flourishes. Arpeggios and things like that. Yeah, so nice job, Ray. All right, now, Let's see. Um, so my final musical number will be at the end of the live stream. And it will be, of course, the standard graduation song, Pop and Circumstance. Now, this is the first time I've actually played it from sheet music. I got some sheet music, and it's fairly... Uh, wait, where did the other one go? Hold up. <laughs> um, did it fall on the ground or something? What happened? Okay. Um, oh, I know what happened. It's under here. Now, this is fairly easy sheet music. I got that for uh, basically because I'm not sure when the actual graduation for Ocean is going to be. I want to be able to learn quick, and I figured I could just add more notes if it's too simple. So, we're going to go. We're going to give this a go.
Nice, Rudy. Nice. I think I would, and I know that you just got the music, so you haven't had time to practice it uh, much. But I would, I would say, go ahead and practice it so you get it down, so you don't miss any notes. We got like you know ninety nine percent of it, which is good on a first go round. Um, the other thing is, um, I can't help but think about all the graduations that I've seen over the course of my thirty nine years or so. Um, <laughs> Uh, so it's, uh, you know, it, it makes me think about all those, but that's good when, you know, that's, to me, that's a good sign when I start thinking about okay. other times I've heard the song instead of, you know, focusing entirely on, on the technique, whether you're using the right technique or whatever. Yeah. I would say too, uh, Rudy, the first, that's your first time playing in and you, and you just did it right off. Pretty oh, well, that was right? really easy. So of course I could do it right off. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty easy song, but you were able to play it right away. Um, <clears throat> the thing that strikes me is that here we are, graduation, almost graduation 2020, and um, people aren't going to be able to really walk the stage for these graduations. Yeah, that's kind of sad. So they're not going to be able to do that every time. So when they hear that song, particularly the 2020 graduates, are not going to be able to walk the stage this year. Yeah. It's bittersweet. But they might be able to walk somewhere else or some other way with the pomp and circumstances playing anyway. Yeah. All right. Um, let's check if there's anything else. Uh, nope. All right. So uh, if you'll scooch over, I just like to sit down here and make some closing remarks. Um, yeah. Now, um, you may have realized, I said this was the third episode, where's the second? I completed it, but it was when I was uh, uh, emailing uh, some teachers to see if they would appear as guests. And since I don't have their permission to use their name in a public YouTube video, I have unlisted it for the moment. It will be released after I get their permission. Now, I cannot guarantee any of these teachers will actually say yes. Uh, uh, one of them has, but uh, yeah, we'll see. Um, and also for that song, I'm wondering maybe I should play it a, a couple of times because it's pretty short for the full effect. Um, anyway, I'd like to thank my uh, amazing parents, uh, Dan and Georgia. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.